Hello YouTube, my name is Light Malloy, aka King Bobbers, and today we have another video basing game on Steam comments. So as of recording, it is 11-19th, the game is $35, the game DayZ. Remember, if you'd like me to review a game on Steam based on the comments, leave below, please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me if you don't like it, why? Let's go. So it's $35. So you should at least, in my theory, get 35 hours. And if you double that, you get your money. $35 is a lot. It is early access. Let's go, Day Z. This was recommended by Just Gaming Channel. All right. So the first review 81 hours, 0.4 minutes. So let's go. My greatest childhood, my greatest children may enjoy this when it's finished. Hey, bruh, why is it bad? You have 81 hours. Does anybody return a game on bloody Steam? Six hours? What the? Six, 6.1 hours. Guinness World Record for longest EA game. This is an EA game? It changes everything. Dumb down. EA screws everything up. Everything up. This guy has a right to down it. He paid 35. Down it. 30 hours. Okay, so, no, 36 hours. So you got every dollar you spent, you had an hour on. Laugh my butt. Bleep off $35 for a game that will never be finished. Don't even think about it, kid. Apparently, I'm a kid. I'm a sexy ass, grown ass, hairy man. I'm not a kid. Maybe if it gets on sale for like six. Dude, I like this guy. I said six. That's right up my alley. Because it's never going to get out of early access. Dude. You bought it early access. You don't have a right to be like, oh, don't buy it. It won't ever come out. Okay, a lot of early access games don't come out. Rust. What games do come out early access? Well, you had No Man's Sky, but that's beside the point. <laughs> you had No Man's Buy. Orc. And that's the only one I can name off of. If you buy a game early access, uh, here's a theory. Expect it not to come out of early access. Shocker! I blew the internet up with that mark! Dude, you got 35 hours. I like the guy with six. He had a right to whine. Because he had... Absolutely pandemic that after being so long in alpha and disappointing on an entire fan base. Oh my, you bought a zombie game. Ah, hey, I, I, I don't want to kill zombies and loot. Ah. What? Not, why? You bought a zombie game. Oh, because it was big. I'm not knocking the game because I didn't play it. I'm just going back and knowing it was a zombie game and it was a mod off of Orma. Alright. The only fan base that still charges 22 pounds for more games such as Witcher, which are brutally giving 50 to 75%. Hey, brah! Hey, brah! Day Z is an early access. The Witcher 3 is not an early access game. So early access games will have growing pains. AK, never come out of early access. And you got two hours. If you double your money per dollar on hours, you should not have a right to whine unless circum circus. Uh, circum circumstances. Guys, you can whine. Special circumstances. I've been doing these two episodes in 3,165 hours. What? <laughs> How can you whine? You got a, you got a thousand hours in a game. I love how you say that you'd be like, I can't read, thumb down how many hours, so I'll go and tell you. I have over 3,000 hours in this game. 
Don't but boy, these type will talk like me. Don't but you mean don't buy it? Don't but it's waste of time. Bro, how's it waste of time? You got three thousand hours. Well, listen to me. Three thousand hours. I would like to make a joke here with the amount of hours, but I, I, YouTube will demonetize me. So, till you go unconscious when there ain't even any zombies near you. Apparently, you didn't find that really a hassle, because why wouldn't you quit after 10 hours or 5? <laughs> when there's not... You can completely waste time this game. Oh, I wonder why you completely waste time, Mr. 3000. Will never get fixed. Don't waste your money. Don't know what the developers are doing and trying of their excuses. They're a joke. Hey, hey, bro, if you hate a game, how about you stop? You haven't stopped. You'd be like, I don't like this game. More hours, more hours. I don't like this game. It'd be like, I don't like food. But, okay, that's a bad example. I don't like food. You have to eat food. I don't like pizza, but I'm going to sit in this restaurant and eat every single day and then complain about how bad it is. But yet you, you, you sit there and play it. 300... Okay, I'm just reading negative reviews. Let me read a positive review. Oh my good. I can't even tell me our... Okay, 60... <laughs> I think I found the trend, guys. I think I found the trend. You have to spend a lot of hours to hate this game. First positive review, 60 hours. This is a really good game for just being st still in early access. The controls are pretty nice. But sometimes the servers lag, but although I do recommend this game to people who like third person games. How's your name in Japan, but you're whatever. Never update it. The devs say they fixed it and are working on it. We you have three, four hours in it. This game needs more positive reviews. <laughs> Says the guy that has three thousand! I still enjoy this game after three. I w one of the best survival games out there. Okay, this guy. 21 hours. Okay, don't waste your money. Get something that's not DayZ. Well, you only have 21 hours. 10 hours. DayZ is realistic zombie game where you are citizens of something. A something former subpublic. I love how this guy played it. 10 hours and gives you more of an idea what the game is. This year, 2009, and you wake up happy with a simple clothing game. Daisy one bra. Okay. 43 hours. Just escaped from something. 33 hours. Bought this game back in 1935 and it's still not finished. 1935. We didn't have internet then. If you're going to make a joke, at least somewhat makes it funny. Because during the 70s and 60s was during the arcade. I think the internet didn't become a thing until like, well like really became a thing until like, I think early is like 80s. I know it was in the 90s. I keep coming back to this game thinking it might have over extent. Well, this guy only has 16 hours. He might have a valid point. The other guys that have like, what, thousands of hours to I keep coming back to this game thinking it might have oh, excite, but how bad it was when I last played it. So, depending on the reviews, should we buy this game? Okay. So, the positive reviews are people that have over 10 hours in it. And the negative are people that have well over 30 to 60. So, should we buy this game? I don't know. It, it's a crapshoot in the comments. If we're going based on hours and liking it, I would say yes. They're, they're mixed. The game was released in 2013. So, do I recommend getting the game? I don't know. It seems like people get a lot of hours. I will eventually buy this game. So, we'll actually go, do I recommend the game based on these reviews before I buy the game? Which will be very interesting. But please, like, comment, and subscribe. And again, rules of these is 
the the price is thirty five dollars. So if you get thirty five hours, you got your money spent on a dollar per hour. And if you double it, more than well. I I don't know. People are stupid. They're they're complaining that it's an early access game, which it is, and it hasn't came out. Maybe a lot of games that came out in early access. No Man's Sky should have been early access. 